This is Bumper to Bumper to This is more than a driver trying to put a new sedan through its paces. It's also an illustration of what Lexus is doing to shed a somewhat stodgy image with the new GS sedan. For the 2013 model year, the GS is breaking ground with a lot of changes for the brand, starting with something as basic as the front grille, an example of the new design language for Lexus. In case you've forgotten, this is the model it replaces, a GS which never really took off with the public. The new model comes in a standard rear-wheel drive or an all-wheel drive platform depending upon the power plant. There's the 450H which locks in a hybrid slash green version. And if you want to drive on places like, say, a track, well, there's the F-Sport version. Mechanically, the base GS comes with the company's 3.5-liter V6 power plant, touting 306 horsepower and 277 foot-pounds of torque. The hybrid uses the same basic power plant combined with two electric motors powered by a nickel metal hydride battery to deliver 338 combined horsepower and 254 foot-pounds of torque. The F-Sport is the gasoline-powered engine with an upgraded suspension in three different transmission settings. The rear-wheel drive unit hits a top speed of 142 miles an hour if you want to live and drive right on the edge. Even though the Lexus brand has an 8-speed automatic available, the engineers kept it out of this model, instead preferring to get the most performance from the 6-speed gearbox. We found that it's surprisingly nimble when thrashed about on a track, something that's not normally associated with this nameplate. But wait a minute, this is still a Lexus, which means some high-end technology. Example, picked all cities here, search for it. I grew up in San Jose, California, so go down to here. We'll get it into the S through Zs. Go over here and find San Jose. Click on San Jose. And up pop, pop all the clear station channels available in the San Jose market. Okay, so here's the list of shopping options. iHeartRadio, Gracenote voice recognition technology, satellite radio, and a Mark Levinson system to play it on. The GS straddles the space between luxury and performance with an eye toward competing with Asian and European sports sedan competitors who are all going after a select segment of the market. It'll be interesting to see who ends up at the head of the pack. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think. So email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.